South Africans are so, you know, loving of people who give of themselves artistically. We love art. We are, we are a creative nation. We are a dynamic nation. You know who made it. If we look at what art is, it's something that is able to document the times. It's something that's able to reflect the times. There's a great time to be alive and see something that's done by like your neighbors, your homeboys, going that far. I think we have generations and generations of art to offer and of fashion to offer still to the world. Hi guys, I'm backstage at Portugal Fashion Week. Let's see, you'll see my dress. Fashion in South Africa is about, or rather Fashion Week in South Africa, is less than 30 years old. I've been doing this for 15 years, a little over 15 years. So I've seen at least half of what has happened in the South African industry. I can tell you now that evolving is, is, is a big part. You've got to have a big vision and you've got to be adaptable. It takes consciousness. Um, it takes caring about the people that you do this with and the people that you do this for. This man will be dancing <laughs> about the place they come from, <laughs> connecting their stories of displacement <laughs> to the story of the place they were in. <laughs> This particular moment, dance, is the most exciting of the cultural forms that you can find in the continent, particularly South African dance, because there's such an excitement uh, from the world. We've just been the all-star of the world. And it's because, you know, we've got so many stories to tell and so much of history that we continue to unpack in such beautiful ways. And uh, we're not afraid to go where politicians will not go. So we confront issues head on, but also at the same time, we're very much about the now and the future. I mean, for the last past two decades, we've been, as we in dance theatre, um, positioning ourselves as one of the leading contemporary dance companies to emerge from the continent. We have to continue to somehow break you know, the stereotypical ways of looking at, at culture and collaboration. We've got to find ways in which there's a reduction in terms of um, them and us, where there is a, a uniqueness in terms of how we are looking at the formulation of a collaboration that is not only left to the artists, but also countries. South African music for me, from what I've observed and what I've enjoyed and what I've been a part of making as a musician, is the fact that we're able to use rhythm and we're able to use uh, the way in which we dance and the way in which we purge and the way in which we heal to then reflect our lives and our stories. For me, as someone who's really passionate about African music and in all the genres and subgenres that it comes with, I'm really passionate about seeing the growth and people engaging. I mean, I am in an incredible country in South Africa, which is at the bottom of the continent. And I think I realized that there is a hunger for our stories on the global stage because there is maybe a sense of self and a sense of resonating that people find in our stories. And when I think about our cultural icons, I look at the likes of Abo Mamiri Makeba, Abo Bob Huma Sigela, who are well known in the country and in the world. And their stories have been something that has been quite reflective of the times and something that I've always wished and seeked to emulate. I'm a piano, piano, it's a big vibe, but the girls them know, steadily. 
South Africa is the most vibrant musical hub and I'm so excited on how then the internet has made everything so interconnected right now. I'm a piano. I don't think uh, without TikTok it would have went as far as it did. The lock drum, I don't know what it is with us, but we love the bass. If it hits right, it becomes contagious. What do we not have to offer to the world? We make everything here. Because of internet, the world is becoming a small place. And if you don't jump in it, you're going to feel left out. I think it's important, firstly, to acknowledge that the artists are already doing a lot in terms of forging these relationships culturally. And they are doing a lot already in trying to establish um, connections with, from artist to artist, country to country, you know, continent to continent. And this is already happening on a larger scale. The Mansu Times H&M collection and collaboration was the biggest fashion a moment in South Africa and even in the continent, I think. Harlem and Lagos are two of my favorite cities. I love the fact that I've been able to meet so many different kinds of people from all over the world. The US is like the biggest entertainment hub in the world. So now if you see a, like a genre that comes from, you know, a small city of Johannesburg going that far, it shows you like how far we've came. Our diversity keeps us going and keeps us unique, which makes the pie a lot more delicious because we all have our place in it. So I feel like if we were to work together to want to achieve a bigger goal, it will be better for the whole industry.